If this seems familiar to you, that's because it was already unveiled earlier this year. It even won our Best of Seas award in the automotive category. The conceit behind the F015 is this, what would a car look and feel like in a future where driving is no longer the sole purpose of having one? When you don't need to keep your eyes on the road, what would you do differently? And when pedestrians can no longer make eye contact with drivers, how will they know when to cross the road? These questions are all central to the design and philosophy of the F015, which is less about self-driving technology than it is a thought experiment on how autonomous driving will fit in our collective future. Indeed, the demonstration vehicle in front of me isn't even fully autonomous, it's programmed only to go along a predetermined path on the Alameda runway. Still, the car isn't without technological marvels. You know Kit? With David Hasloff? asks Klaus Müller-Ferley, a researcher for Mercedes-Benz, a few minutes before our demonstration. I'll call it over like that. Rather than using a Kumlink watch to summon our ride, however, Müller-Ferley takes out his iPhone and launches an app. He taps in the number of passengers, there are four of us, to tell the car how many doors to open, and then taps a button to beckon it over. As the car makes its way to us, Mueller-Ferley points out that the LEDs are blue, which indicates the car is in autonomous mode. If someone were behind the wheel manually driving the car, the light would be white. The stunning exterior is also outfitted with cameras, sensors and LEDs so that it can navigate through and respond to the outside world in a way that's mindful of pedestrians and other vehicles. The rear red LED can light up to spell out words like slow and stop depending on traffic. If the car spots a pedestrian, it'll project a laser crosswalk on the ground, encouraging the person to go ahead with a gentle voice and lighted arrows, 